Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Good morning, girls. How are you? Fine. Fine. Alhamdulillah. Welcome, dear students, to our science class. Today, we are going to complete Sum It Up Part 2. Okay, guys, this is page 12. Please open with me page 12. Good, good, good job. We are going to do it quickly together. I know we did some of it yesterday and today we are going to complete. Okay, girls? Now, let's see. Page 12, question number one. Use the words in the box to complete puzzle. Okay? We want to complete the puzzle. Number one, across. You do this when you make a conclusion after observing. Okay, what is it? What do you do after you make a conclusion, after observing? What is it? Is it experiment, infer, model, predict, question, investigate, observe, variable, or hypothesis? What is it? Number one. Who wants to participate with me? I understand this puzzle. I don't understand this puzzle. Okay, see, number one, across over here. Across means from the left to the right. We are going from the left to the right. Let me draw an arrow for you. Okay, so over here. Can you see? From the left to the right. Hi, Mrs. Anud. Hi. Like this. This is across. And when I say down, this is down from up I do it. to down. Okay. Number one, Fatima. You do this when you make a conclusion after observing. What do you do? What do you make? Infer. Yeah. Excellent, you infer. I'm going to explain more about it. Now, see my girl, when you say, I will put this water bottle inside the freezer, okay? What will happen to this water if I put it inside the freezer? It will we'll we'll make ice. Excellent, it will freeze and be ice. So this is your inference. How did you infer? How did you infer this statement? How did you come up with this statement? Because you already have this information from before and based on what you observe that I am putting the ice and the water inside the freezer, you told me that, Ms. Anud, the water will freeze. This is infer. You are making inference. Okay. Now, guys, we I want. Write, are we going to write in the book today? Guys, I want you to. Yes, you yes, are you going. You know that I do it all of it. I do great. it all of it yesterday. See? Great job. Great job. Okay, great job, Fatima. Everyone, thank you. Thank you. Okay, guys, I what I want from you is to write, for example, infer, write number one next to infer. So we save some time. Later you will fill in the puzzle. So later we can do all the questions. Okay, guys? Okay, dear? Okay. Good. Okay. And if you don't understand, please, guys, stop me and ask me. I am here for you. And I need you to understand. We took a whole week just to understand these words. Experiment, predict, investigation observe, variable, hypothesis, okay? Now number five, the one factor, see? Fatima, the one factor you change in an experiment, what do I call it? Hypothesis. I call it variable. It's the one thing that I change 
in an experiment and I call it variable. Variable is number five, okay? Now, number six, to make a guess. It's me, 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 I know. Okay, Fatima, to make a guess. Predicate. What? Predict. Predicate. Predict. Predict. Excellent, excellent. See, May, whenever you are making a guess, a guess, you can underline with me because these are the key words. Okay, when you make a guess based on what you think or what you know, it's to predict. So predict is number? Number, number, number six. Number six. Excellent. Predict is number six. Now, number eight, something that is like the real thing. Please, Fatima, do not draw on my screen. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, now. Something that is the, like the real thing, okay? You want to study about ships. You want to study about airplanes, big airplanes, but you can't bring the airplane here. So, it, I, heard the, I heard it. Who said? Who said, who said the word? I don't know. I didn't say anything. Okay, can you try? Can you try, my dear Dana? What? What is something that is like the real thing, but it's not exactly? Is it experiment, model, question? Something real thing, but not exactly? Yes, when you want to study about airplane, can you bring the airplane and make experiment about it or you will make one look like, like an airplane? A model. Excellent, a model. So a model is something look like the real thing, but not exact. Model number three. Huh? Model number three. Uh, model is number eight. Oh, miss, we write it? No, you just write the, the, the number. Write number eight next to model. Now. I do it all of it. I do it all of it from yesterday. Good job, Fatima. Good job. Okay, now, number nine. A statement that will answer a question you want to investigate. Oh, okay. When you ask a question and you give the answer, Okay, before you do your experiment, what you are doing? What is it? Oops. Number nine, when you make a statement. Miss, I'm writing. Dear, oh, I'm sorry that you are writing, Habibti. I will be sending you the answer after the session when the oh, day. I don't have. Okay, gar girls, can you mute your microphones? I want to hear Dana. Yes, Dana. What? Question. Question? Number nine is question? Yeah. A statement that will answer a question you want to investigate. 
a statement that will answer. See, what is the answer of your question when you investigate? Or you are going to make a statement and you will test this statement. What would, what do I call it? Experiment. Experiment. What about hypothesis? What about hypothesis? Okay. Number what, miss? <clears throat> Number nine is hypothesis. A, a hypothesis is a statement that will answer a question you want to investigate. See, this statement, when I answer my question, okay, I will make a test about it. When I say, see, I will tell you that the water will freeze because if I put the water in the fr uh, freezer, the water will freeze because of the, uh, the low temperature. Then this is my hypothesis. Is it testable? Can you test what I said or not? Um, Hi, Dana. Can you test what I told you or not? You can make a test about it. Can you try and put the water in the freezer and see if it will be ice or not? I can try. Yes, you can I, try. I, I actually tried it and I was like, can I drink some water? I took the frozen water by mistake and I was like, why is the water not dripping? <laughs> Do not drink cold water. It's not good for your throat. I was, okay. I was like, oh, it's ice. Okay, I'm telling you now, it turned to ice because of the low temperature. Can, this is my hypothesis. Can you make sure if I'm saying the right thing or not? You can put, okay, you can put two bottles, one bottle of water in a freezer in a low temperature, very low temperature, and the other one, you can put it where, you can put it in, um, a normal place with a regular temperature and see which one will freeze, the one in the freezer or the one outside the freezer and make sure the freezer is low temperature and the outside the freezer it's regular temperature, okay? Miss, I want to tell you something. Yes. What does it mean conclusion? I oh, okay. Conclusion First, means the, the result of your experiment. What what did you reach? Where did you reach? Now let's what do you see. Mean result? I don't know. I don't know. Result. Okay. Statement that. Okay. What? Now let's go to number one. Down. Number one. Going down. Yeah. Scientists plan and carry one out to answer their questions. What do they plan? Scientists plan what, ya Lara? Lara Justania. Scientists, they plan what? Scientists? They plan what? They make plan about what? Experiment, investigation. Experiment. Are you sure? They make a plan to answer questions. Uh, investigate. Excellent. Investigation. Investigation what? is number one. Excellent. Good job. Number one. 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 One huh? down. Okay, number two. Scientists ask okay. these about the world around them. Scientists ask what about uh, around the world about them? Yes, Rima. Um, and... What did you say? Scientists ask these about the world around them. Do they ask, observe? They ask experiment or questions? A question. Questions. Excellent. So number two is two questions. They ask questions. Now, you do this when you use your five senses. What do you do when you use your five senses? Do you make experiment or observe or conclusion? Um. 
Use your five senses. Why? To observe or to make experiment? Excellent, to observe. Please, girls, do not draw on my screen. So number three is observe. Excellent, excellent. Number four, an investigation in which you use variables. Where do you use variables? In conclusion or experiment? Huh, Dana? Uh, you do variables? Is Where? German? Excellent. Good job. You use variables in experiment. Experiment is number four. Okay, Fatima. Number seven. You draw this at the end of an investigation. What do you draw? Conclusion. Definitely you draw a conclusion. Excellent. Number seven is conclusion. Miss, we can't write an investigation. What? We can't write an investigation because we just write infer. Are you sure? Yeah, you see, I, okay, I will show you. Look. Infer yeah. is number one, okay, but dodge, where? Dodge. Across. Number one. Down investigation. God, I did down variable. Variable number five, it's a cross. Okay, girls, this page, I will be sending it to you through your email. You can go through the website and find it, okay? This one, Miss? All right. All the, okay. All the answers, my dear. All the answers. Okay. Just how much minutes we have? Please, miss. Just we have minute. ten more minutes. Okay. Uh, okay. I think the the. Uh, now, look at number two over here. Number two. Hey, the time is so low when you eat. So this bridge is over the Mississippi River. List materials you could use to make a model of it. Can you make a model of a bridge? Rima, Maria, can you discuss with me, Maria and Rima? What are you what going to use? Use what? Use what? Use what? What tools, materials you are going to use to make a model? I want you to make a model of this bridge. What they say? Excellent. You will use a stick. Excellent. Great. Okay. Thank you, Rima and Maria. Please, Gamar. Unmute your microphone, please. Yes. Gamar, I can't hear you. Uh, yes. Hey, you can hear me now? Yes. Okay, I read this one. I want you to tell me, what are you going to use if you are going to make a model uh, from this bridge? Can you see the picture over here? Yes, okay. I'm going to use papers, paint, Uh, to make like a model? Yes, I want it to look like uh, a real thing. Page number what? Page number what? You need um, boxes to make the line. Cut okay. it with a knife and then I need paint, I need glue. Miss, and scissors. page what? I need... The next page, um, my dear. Okay. I need uh, pens, I need... Blue and I need even um, a book, like Excellent. or a paper to make to write on it, like um, like to write how the bridge I want it to be like, and I'm gonna copy from the paper. I Excellent. So you are going to make a plan first, and then you yes, will. A plan. Excellent. Excellent. Good job. 
What about you, Lara Reis? What are you going to use to make a bridge? Oh, bridge. Um, Look like this way. Are you going to use straws? No. So what does it mean? Straw. You are not going to use straw. Okay. What about these lines? Are you going to use uh, a stick? No. Yes, I need straw. Or you can use a stick. I see you, Dana, but I need to hear Lara first. Okay, I'll come to you, Dana, after Lara. Yes, Lara. That you need some bread to build that tall thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Thank you. Yes, Dana. Um, uh, I think uh, is uh, the this down. I'll make it the boxes, and from the top, these um, small sticks. I'll make them sticks and hang them with glue on a big uh, cardboard box. Mashallah! Everyone, I'm so happy and very thrilled that you all are excited, and the, everyone knows how to make a model. Making models are easy. They're not that hard so you can make a model of anything you want and you can learn from it now number three Grayson wants to know what plants need in order to survive see he places one plant in a window he places another plant in a dark closet what is the variable in his testing what is the one changing factor? Do you know? Who knows? Put me. Yes, dear Fatima. I don't know. Not you? See, I'm, I will tell you guys, variable mean the one factor you change in your experiment. He has his plant, okay? And he's putting one of them near the light the other one without light he will put it inside the closet so what is the answer what is the variable what did he change in his experiment something changeable excellent one is dark and one in let's see now he is testing the amount of light each plant gets. So his variable was the light, see? Do you understand this one? Girls? Yes, you... yes. yes. I write it. Miss, I write it? No, my dear, you will have a plenty of time to write later, okay? Oh, don't eat the turtle. <laughs> you love this turtle? I love I this turtle like too. It's mm. like this. It's scary. It, it's not scary. It looks cute. No, she, no, she is scary. But I didn't scare from her. She is scary. Oh. Okay. Don't want anybody to see her. Like, now let's try to do this one. Jared looks carefully at a young turtle in his hand. Label each of his statements, observation, or inference. I want you to tell me, is it observation or inference? I will read for you. I will write O for observation and I for inference, okay? What does mean inference? Inference mean you give a statement based on information you know. I know observation that we look at it. We look Excellent. At it. Observation is when you use your five senses. Now, I will read the first one. Its front legs are longer than its back legs. Is it observation or inference? Yes, Fatima. Observation. Definitely. Excellent. Now, Gamar. Gamuri. Gamuri al Hilwa. It has sharp toenails. Yes. Is it observation or inference? 
Um, in France. Did you use your five senses to know about it, or oh, you, you think no, thought no. about it? I think about it. It has sharp toenails. You can't see it. Yeah. Yes, I can see it. Look over here. Yes, I can see it. So, did you use your sense? Uh, no, I didn't use my sense to know. How did you see it? With your what? With, with your eyes or what? With my eyes. Uh... Is your sight a sense? One of your five senses? Yeah. A what? Sight. Your sight. Is it one of your five senses? My sight? Yes. What's a sight? Your eyes. Using your eyes to see with them, we call the sense sight. Choose all our eyes and pair our observation. Okay, Lara Ghaif, can you tell me? Is your friend Gamuri right or wrong? What did she say? She said it is inference. Is it inference or observation? Uh, I think she... She said, I used my eyes to see if it has sharp toenails or not. Yeah, it's right. Okay, is it observation or inference? Yes, I know. Okay, Fatima. It's infer, right? Oh, uh, okay. You are saying it's inference. No, I would, no. I would no, put I over he. Why observation? Why? Can you tell me because why? I see with my eyes. You used your eyes. five senses. Excellent. When you use your five senses to do something, then it is observation. Excellent. It uses its toenails to dig. Now, what is this, Yagamar? Now, I want you, no, Yagamar, to no. tell me. Is this inference or observation? It uses its... It is... Excellent, excellent. It can see me. Yes, Justinia. Justinia, are you there? I was um, uh, bringing tissue. It's okay, my dear. Okay, can you tell me? Is it inference or observation? No, it can see me. It can see me. I know it, miss. I know it. Okay. Okay, you are saying inference. We will see the answers later. Now, it shell feels cool and dry against my well, hand. If my mommy, mommy is, um, if now she's needing me, okay? Okay. Now, Rima, can you tell me? The last one. Its shell feels cool and dry against my hand. Is it inference or observation? Uh, infer. infer. Okay, you are saying infer. Now let's see the answers, okay? Let's see if you got it right or wrong. Okay, number one, observation. Excellent, excellent. Number two, it is observation. Good job. Number three, it uses its toenails to do dick. It is inference. Good job. It can see me. It's inference. Good job. But the shell feels cool and dry against my hands. See, girls, it's telling you it the that the shell feels when you feel and touch with your hand. You are using what? Your five senses or not? Are you, are you using your five senses or not? When I say feels yes. cool and dry. Yeah, we, we, use, we use our eyes, we use our touch. Good, good. So when you are using your sense, okay, or your one of your five senses, you are observing. Okay, guys? Okay, miss. That's okay. it for today. Do you have any question? No, no. Do you understand? Yes. yes. Go on the chatting. Go on the chatting and see.
Why? Do you have something to ask me about? Yes, go on the chatting. Oh. I want to tell you something. In the morning, do the Where chat. did you read this word? Miss Willowdima and out. We do Rima out. Okay, I'll see. Look about it later. Thank you guys for your patience and for your listening. I'm so happy to be with you. And I'm really sorry that we have to leave now. It's almost 12 and you have another class to attend. Please, guys, attend, sign in on time. Go to your next class and we'll see you tomorrow, okay? Okay. Love you guys. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. I'm sorry that I write in the chat. Okay.